I want to finally get to improving this brush I have. This is like the main brush I use all the time. Pretty much this is the Borodante brush that you can use in the default SAS of Art Studio when you actually download it. But I'm gonna add a couple of features and maybe Lucky Clan will update this brush to keep up with the new features. Kind of makes sense, I guess. So yeah, I'm just gonna apply all the new features to this brush and make sure it works just the right way for me. And then I'll just talk about what I did. Alright, half an hour of listening to post rock and developing the brush later. This is the new version, so I applied a feature that I think was around for a while using the colorized preview of the brush. I applied hue jitter with 3% and of course using preserve luminosity checkbox and this is the kind of variation I'm getting. Not a strong one because you don't want to have like a lot of brown and pink colors when you're trying to paint a red cloth or something like that. But a slight variation is always a healthy thing to add. And yeah, when we're working with different values, even slightly changing the brightness, you will see that it's definitely darker than all the hue jittered colors of a slightly brighter version. So preserve luminosity works just right. Also, I applied angle jitter of 30%, so every stroke I make will be at a very different angle. And finally, the dynamics control, I applied the tilt and pressure combination of control in two moments, so pressure control for size. Now I added this kind of unusual tilt control. So what it means, pretty much what tilt always does to the size of the brush, which is making it bigger, like more stretched when you're tilting the pencil. But in this case, thanks to the fact that we have the curve control, I made sure that all over this area is when the angle is from the perfect 90 degrees to a bit like uh, a pretty natural angle of work, it will stay the same. It won't get bigger at all. When I'm drawing exactly like this or tilting it a bit with normal working angle, it doesn't change the size at all. Only when I really intentionally want to increase the size by seriously tilting the brush, so I'm using it like flat like this, that's when I get like a really huge increase of size. So pretty much working like this or like this or like this, it's all fine. You're not changing the size at all. But when you're getting like extremely big, that's where the size is getting crazy. So it's really helpful when you're just working and you suddenly want to cover a bigger surface with your color. You can just instead of changing the size of the brush at all, you can just tilt it and quickly cover and then keep working with a smaller size again. Really cool, this extreme angle is completely segregated from normal work condition. Very comfortable. This is why I like curve controls. You can do this kind of tricks and it's very productive to do that. So another thing, I also introduced some pattern opacity control. So as you can see, pressure doesn't do anything, but tilt does this. So all the action is happening on the right side of the graph now, which means at a normal condition, we'll have this kind of amount of texture eating away from the brush stroke. But when we're going exactly 90 degrees, like we want to make a strong, solid drop of paint, you know, when you're using the 90 degrees, the paint will drop in more of a thick fashion, I guess, like making a, I don't know, when there's something wet, you, you can make like a solid drop that will introduce more paint to the little spot. The same way it works here, if you're using 90 degrees, it will be a much stronger revealance of paint through the texture, sort of. So if we compare like this is the 90 degree stroke and this is the normal angle. So normal working condition introduces a pretty strong amount of texture as it always did. But now you have an option of making like a very solid stroke not eaten away by the texture almost at all. So there's that. Now our brush is complete and it's very easy to find it for me in my collection now. Now we can actually start painting. So right now what I want to do is start with the abstraction technique the way we do lately on this channel. 